Men det er kolleks. We're going to talk about uh, rehabilitation for spasticity in spinal tumors and, and uh, in pediatrics. We have an experience of treatment and rehabilitation treatment jointly with the colleges of pediatric unit, Svetlana Kolova, Svetlana Ivanova. And we'd like to thank Andrei Mishenko for the opportunity uh, to use ultrasound room for navigation control in patients. <coughs> Uh, and uh, use of bottle toxin. We're going to talk about spasticity in the lower limbs. We're going to talk about spasticity of legs, and uh, we'll focus on pediatric population. Nowadays, we know about opportunity to treat spasticity in adult groups. Uh, spasticity in arms of different etiology after stroke or brain injury. What is spasticity? It's a uh, movement disorder uh, characterized by the speed um, dependent enlargement of tonic reflexes uh, and um, uh, as the motor neurons are um, in the lower parts of the brain, and um, these are manifestations of uh, syndrome of superior motor neuron. The definition was given in 1870, and spasticity is disorder of neuromotor control manifested by different intensiveness and activation of skeletal muscles. It's a disorder which impedes rehabilitation opportunities. And when we see spontaneous uh, atonic muscle uh, movements, so uh, it's difficult to transport such patients. There is manifested contracture of anterior muscles. Such patients may uh, lie uh, in such a way that it's difficult to transport them. In 2015, more than 400 cases of stroke were registered. And it is an adult population. And this is a big number of patients having such problems. Another cause could be brain injury. It's 600,000. That is one million of patients per year, those who have damages of the brain, brain injuries. And there are certain regularities the occurrence of elevated muscle tone and contractures. What about epidemiology in children? We looked at literary data. There is no clear-cut information about such manifestations. But if we take cerebral palsy and clinical recommendations for its treatment, the Union of Pediatrics of Russia gives the following numbers. The, it, the, the incidence rate increases depending on perinatal pathology. If it is very low body mass, it's 25-30%. There are two or three cases for, per 1,000 neonates. This is pediatric cohort when we come across plasticity and necessity for rehabilitation. Then spinal injury. And this is one of the course of uh, hospitalization. So in the structure of injury, it accounts for one, from one to 10% range. Then tumors. 
Lingard region has the following numbers under 18 years of age. It's about two cases per 100,000. Follow up lasted for 19 years. There was an article published in 2018. And when we talk about pediatric oncology and oncological and and uh, oncology of the spine and spinal cord oh we can we have to consider such figures and uh, spinal cord injury syndrome as to clinical manifestations this is disorder of movement it depends on localization it's spastic symptoms that will impede hygiene and opportunity to have care, uh, restoration, and rehabilitation. This is pathology of superior motor neuron. If it is a pathological process such as injury or tumor, it's involvement of four limbs. It can be chest level. And this is paraplegia, besides uh, sensitivity disorder. It overlaps with the last point, because it implies neuropathic pain. Uh, in case of syringomelia on spinal injury, neuropathic pain is a situation which requires baclofen pump. No other way will help you to cope. Pelvic uh, plexus disorder and involvement in, of spinal cord characterized by compression ischemic myelopathy. These are standard neurological disorders in spinal cord injury. What is proposed? in medical practice among methods of possible treatment of spasticity. Physical methods. And it is important. They're easily combined with medication therapy. There are physiotherapeutic methods, arthritic technologies, application of Botulin therapy, oral yellow relaxants have very high level of accidents and efficacy, but different medications of different groups have side effects, sedation, and the efficacy goes down with long term application. These not always give that powerful my relaxation effect. And call introduction of baclofen, baclofen pump, and other methods in treatment, cerebral palsy, so different surgical technologies. So spasticity, elevated muscle tone, syndrome of superior motor neuron, this is movement neuron and afferent superficial sensitivity does not contribute to this syndrome. And this motor phenomenon in patients is a, a target for using certain group of medication. Motor symptoms can have positive and negative components, muscle fatigue, and uh, appearance of occurrence of pain. These are theoretical points. Clinical observation. In pediatric oncology unit, uh, this patient, born in 2001, was readmitted. We followed up him until May. Uh, from May 2005, there was radiotherapy, purification, 
partial regression was achieved. There were complications and disorders that we paid attention to. The onset of the disease is shown here, and outpatient treatment was conducted. MRI of the chest, intramedullary lesions were treated. And here is histological conclusion. This is a Ewing sarcoma. As to neurological status, you see the data, spastic paraplegia, then contracture of posterior femoral muscles, difficulty syndification. The study was performed two year, uh, days ago with C-positive dynamics. You see the images, the data at primary, hospitalization and current data. We see reduction of the tumor process. These are the symptoms. So he tries to bend the right leg. Here is minimal movement of fingers. There is manifested movement disorder. So he tries to lie on his abdominal part. He's trying to sit down. And there is involvement of the muscles of the posterior posterior muscles of uh, uh, femoral muscles. Uh, the target for bottle toxin. You see ultrasound uh, guided navigation. You see biceps femoris, biceps femoris. When we made botulin therapy, we saw a similar picture. Here is semi ligament muscle, semi tendinous muscle. Here, 500 units were the maximum dosage. You see the dosages that can be used. This is ultrasound guided navigation. We take 500 units. Here we see injection needle. We see location of the muscle in the cloud showing that injection has been made. This is the picture a week after. You see active movement. Oh, we remove that, eliminate that muscle tone, and see the picture of movement disorders. Uh, on the right, movement is more active uh, due to a symmetry. The left part is different. We see movement of uh, in the distal parts. There is larger volume of movements demonstrated. Yesterday there was an examination. It's uh, so they preserved uh, independent urination. They best uh, chose the optimal mode of therapy. Some words about uh, medications. This port, 300, 500 units. When selecting medication, age, spasticity of leg are important. This is the medication that can be used to treat spasticity of lower limbs. And 
It can be used in children under two. Thank you.